Hello, everybody. So I'm looking at Spectral Layers number 12. It just came out, brand new update with a lot of new features. And uh, currently there's a promotion going on. As you can see on the website, 20% off. So I think as a previous owner of uh, Spectral Layers 11 Pro, I paid around $70 for this. So I thought, hey, this is worth it. I went to the website first and they have a nice little tab here, have a new in 12. And it shows you what, you know, the unmixed modules are new, you know, what did, what is improved and all of that. So looks promising. And for $70, I thought, okay, why not? Let's do it, okay? Uh, one thing first, when I installed it, I noticed it's bigger than uh, 11. So this is a screenshot from uh, Windows, uh, the installer, when it's done. You can see uh, 11 has 1.8 gigabyte uh, allocated in storage and 12 now comes in in whopping 4.8 gigabytes so make sure you have some room on your hard drive when you install spectral layers 12. now when you open the program uh, you can already tell by looking at the modules right here there's quite a few more options as said on that website you know new features like unmix soundtrack finally unmix drums is separate and we get to that in a minute so how does it sound and uh, i thought okay let's do a quick test you know everybody has different files different reasons you want to use spectral layers post-production cleanup of your audio maybe removing something you receive in the mix a bass line or a kick drum you don't like so now you can actually pull it out and replace it with something else right so over the last couple of years this software really got better and better i know there's a lot of competition and uh, I've gotten comments in my previous videos about the other companies and they're all good and RX is doing a great job also with some of those things and but I know that Steinberg is constantly pushing it and integrating this also with Cubase this runs error so you can actually load it right into Cubase in work right there on your audio uh, applying spectral layers function in Cubase which I think is great okay let's look at a couple of drum loops see how the separation works if it got better since version 11. okay i pulled in a uh, basic uh, a loop okay, some acids. a couple of toms yeah crashes and all that's good so we control all selects the loop go to modules unmix drums you can preview the kick for instance if you want there you go Let's apply this. Let's just let this run. Those little clips, you know, go pretty fast. Here we go. I love the colors. Isn't that nice? It looks pretty. So here's the kick. Very crisp. Transients are great. Yeah. Here's the snare. Nice. Here are the toms. Not bad. Okay, good, good. A little higher action. Very good. It's the right. That's also very nice. And here's the crash. Yeah, of course, those are the moments they cut out the other things. So, but you can fix this. You could actually repair those, uh, you know, with uh, the frequency repair. But we don't go there now. But uh, nice. I think the separation works wonderfully. And again, this is all uh, non-destructive. So you pull it back and now you have your loop back. And if you find the kick too hot, you can actually see the colors even change. You can move it down in volume. Well, that's the magic about this unmixing, right? So you can actually tweak it after the fact if you don't have access to the recording session anymore, right? So let's pull in another uh, groove. This is a jazzy one, which I find also very interesting. So There's a lot of bleed going on. All right, so let's try that. Control all, layer, modules, unmix drums, apply. Okay, great. Close this one. Let's take a look at the kick. As you can hear the kick. It's all there, but this is a very quiet kick. Here's the snare. Nice. Toms, well, maybe a little bit, but not really. Let's see hi hat. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Very crisp. Here's the ride, a busy one. Pretty good. And of course, the crash. Which goes with the ride. Yeah, also very good. This was a harder uh, loop to really dissect, but I think uh, you can also work with this. And again, if you feel the kick is not loud enough, for instance, you know, make it a little harder, you know, <laughs> things like that. Anyway, with moderation. So I think the drum separation is very good, has improved since version 11. So great. Let's take a look at the song separation. All right, I loaded a song. This is my latest single, Rarely Sunny. It's a smooth jazz uh, recording. Features the violin, you know, drums, bass, guitars, piano, strings, uh, percussion, and a little slip. <laughs> and instrumental music is always harder for the uh, AI to, you know, detect the layers because, like, violin is all over the place, sonically, low, high, mid, you know, it's all there. So uh, let's find out what version 12 can do. For me, let's go to modules, unmix the song. Everything is checked. Our quality is high. Let's click apply. And let's look at the um, timer. Estimated time is going to be calculated. It's only 15 second segment, so it shouldn't take too long. Let's see what it says. It's already working. 12 seconds left. It did 50%. That's good. So great. Once this is done, we see the result, of course, in, in the right uh, lower right hand here under layers here it is close this box we can zoom in a little bit so now i can you know select the drums i mean it got everything the shakers the the conga the all that and the drum kit here's the bass <laughs> Not bad. Guitar is hard, a lot of effects on it. All right, so this one was a hard one, so it couldn't really figure out the guitar. It wasn't clear enough. Piano, there's nothing on this track. It didn't like that, I guess. Sax and brass could be the lead. Pretty good. It didn't get all of the uh, the high end because that's part of, you know, blends maybe with the shaker. Uh, in, in sonically, but we got it was on the other track. So I picked the piano here. I hear the piano, the strings, and a little bit of uh, tail of the violin. Okay, not too bad for in comparison. I think it's better than 11, definitely. And here's the magic now. You can select the drum track and you go to your modules and you can now, on top of this unmixing song, and that's how you have to do it, you unmix the drums again. You can unmix every layer here again to something else. You know, it might, maybe it pulls out, if I try this on the other, maybe it pulls out the piano. It might be worth a try. All right, here you go. See drums, we got the kick. We got the snare. Let's see, there's not really toms. Yeah, it's more like the, the conga is the tom. Hi-hat. That's the shaker. That was a hi-hat right there. So hi-hat and shaker combined on this uh, layer. The ride wasn't really happening. Ah, symbol, downbeat. Okay, uh, interruptions, of course, by cutting out the other elements, right? But hey, it got it got the the crash out of it, so that's pretty uh, pretty impressive. So yeah, so I mean it's pretty cool. So you have your drums in your own little subfolder here underneath the drums, right? That's kind of nice. Let me try this. Let's go to this weird other track, which you know had the. Let's see if I can unmix this again. I don't know. All right, so let's try. We've got piano and others. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what happens. So I selected the other, you know, layer. And let's see what it does. So, I, okay, it gave me, of course, two stems. Let's hear the first one. This one. Oh, empty. Okay, so it didn't like it. No. 
So that one did not do well. So I guess we have to live with the uh, strings and the piano on. Maybe there's an option with the instrument on mix. I have to dive deeper into this. But so far, uh, yeah, we there's no workaround, okay? But hey, get the drums and bass out of a mix. That's pretty amazing too, right, already? So I think it's quite impressive uh, what can be done. And it's gonna just get better in the over the next couple of years. We all know that, right? I mean, it's almost <laughs> scary, but uh, who would have thought this would be happening? You know, maybe ten years ago, right? So anyhow, thanks for watching. And again, if you need help with uh, Spectral Layers, by the way, click on the help button. You're gonna get to the web uh, manual, which you can also download. And there's also a new features guide, which gives you all the information quickly stuff they just added so you don't need to actually read through 70 pages of manual you can just look at the the, the latest uh, improvements right there okay so thanks for watching and until next time bye mm -hmm.